Circle Time friends, it's Kazi Zahersky, children's book author and illustrator, and today I am here to read an adorable story in an incredible series, the Little Peter series. Today's book is Small Things Little Peter Make a Big Difference by Peter Valdez and Tosh Lane, illustrated by Maymay Leonard. Shall we begin? Little Peter and Timmy were playing in Christine's backyard. Suddenly, a kitten yeah. raced out the back door, and Christine shouted, Don't let Mocha get away! The kitten dashed toward little Peter, and he quickly scooped her up. I got her, he said. I didn't know you had a cat, Christine. I don't. I mean, she's still a kitten, and we're not keeping her. We're fostering her. I call her Loka because she's so full of energy. Christine said as she took the little kitten from little Peter. Loka is a funny name for a kitten, but what does fostering mean? Timmy asked. My family works with a local pet rescue to provide special care to homeless animals so that they don't have to live in shelters, Christine said. They stay in foster homes until they are ready to be adopted into their forever homes. Forever? You mean forever, right? Timmy asked. Nope. Since they have fur, I say forever, Christine said with a giggle. <laughs> we give them lots of cuddles and attention, and we get to make a difference by taking care of them. I want to help make a difference, little Peter exclaimed. Could I foster a kitten too? Or maybe a puppy? Sure. Anyone can make a difference, Christine said. My mom says small things make a big difference. You start with a small action, and before you know it, you've done something big. But you better ask your mom first. I guess, little Peter said with a sigh, but he was no less determined. Little Peter rushed home to find his mom making dinner. Mom, Christine is a foster and has a small loca to make a big difference? I mean, can I foster a puppy, please? Slow down, little Peter, mom said. What's this about a puppy? You know, taking care of a puppy is a big responsibility. I'm not sure you're ready for that. Where did you get this idea? From Christine. Her family is taking care of a kitten named Loka. They volunteer at a pet rescue. A pet rescue, huh? Are you sure about this, little Peter? Yes, I'm sure, little Peter said, nodding. I want to rescue a puppy. Suddenly, Marty jumped up. <laughs> Mom smiled at her two boys and said, First, let me call Christine's mom and see what this is all about. After dinner, Mom called Christine's mom and got the details. They arranged for little Peter to volunteer at the rescue center on Saturdays. He could walk dogs and clean cages until soccer started up again. He would learn how much work goes into taking care of a puppy. Little Peter was so excited when he heard the news. He couldn't wait to start. This is going to be fun and easy, he said to himself. Little Peter had no idea it would be so much work. Sometimes the big dogs would take him for a walk. Ew, my nose, Little Peter's eyes watered. There are some things you just can't unsmell. Working at the rescue wasn't as much fun as he thought it would be. It wasn't one thing, it was another. Not again, little Peter cried out as the dogs jumped up on him, spilling the food. Both were dirty and smelly. He sure didn't feel like he was making a difference. Frustrated, he wiped the gunk off his clothes. Then he looked down at a hungry dog and remembered what Christine said, how making a difference starts with something small. Hey, small guy, I guess without this place, you wouldn't have anything to eat or even a chance to find a good home, huh? Little Peter said to the pup. Week after week, little Peter worked hard to keep the pens and dogs extra clean for the visiting families. He wanted to give each dog the best chance of getting a forever family. Little Peter did many small things without knowing what a big difference he was making to everyone around him. Each Saturday grew more fun than the last. And soon, the final Saturday at the rescue had arrived. It was busier than normal with lots to do, and time flew. 
Near the end of his day, four tiny puppies were brought into the shelter. They'd been left in a box on the side of a road. They were dirty and hungry. Little Peter was asked to take the puppies to a pet pen and brush them down. <laughs> that tickles, he said as the puppies licked his face. Christine walked in with a bowl of food. I see you're working hard as usual, she teased. Of course I am, little Peter teased back. These little guys are full of licks and wiggles. It should be easy to find them a forever family. Laughing at little Peter, Christine said, <laughs> My mom said I get to keep Loka. Do you think your parents would let you foster one of these guys? Little Peter sighed. I'm happy you get to keep Loka, but I don't think my parents will let me foster a puppy yet. They still think it's too big of a responsibility for me. Are you sure about that, little Peter? A voice chimed in. Maybe you should ask them first. Little Peter looked up and saw his mom standing outside the pen. Mom! Little Peter exclaimed. What are you doing here? Christine's mom called me when the puppies came in, Mom said. She told me all about the small things you have done here to make a big difference for the animals and the families who adopt them. We're so proud of you, little Peter. Your dad and I think you are ready to foster a puppy, if you still want to. Boy, do I, little Peter exclaimed, reaching down to pick up the smallest puppy. This one, I want to foster this puppy. He's so tiny, little Peter. Are you sure? Christine asked. I'm sure. Little Peter said. Wonderful, Mom said, smiling. Let's get some supplies and get the puppy home. In no time at all, Little Peter and Marty helped Mom set up the puppy pen and dog bed. What will you call him, Little Peter? Mom asked. I'm going to name him Hero, Little Peter declared. Hero, huh? He seems so tiny to have such a big name, Mom wondered. That's why I picked him, because he's the smallest, Little Peter said. Small things can make a big difference. Hero may be small now, but someday he's going to be big, and I want to help him make a big difference with his forever family. That sounds wonderful, Mom said. It sure would be something to see firsthand. Wouldn't it be great to see three small guys making a big difference together? Little Peter looked at Hero. That would be cool to see. But what do you mean three small guys? Just then, little Peter's dad walked in. That would be Marty, Hero, and you, little Peter. That makes three. Marty jumped up shouting, We get to keep Hero! Little Peter's eyes widened as a smile stretched across his face. You hear that, little small guy? We're going to make a big difference together. Little Peter hugged Hero close as Hero licked his cheek. Wow, small things really can make a big difference. You're my hero. I hope you enjoyed small things, little Peter, make a big difference. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, Circle Time friends. Circle Time!